Local Diagnostic Manager currently leads the marketplace in the monitoring of TempDB. The views available in SQL Diagnostic Manager give a DBA everything that he or she might need to troubleshoot a TempDB problem. To navigate in Diagnostic Manager to TempDB, all you need to do is select the server that you want to troubleshoot, pick the da Databases tab, and then go to TempDB. TempDB is a workspace used to hold temporary user objects, results created through queries and sorts, as well as other objects created by the SQL Server. Because of the significant amounts of data stored in TempDB, issues can affect the entire SQL Server and its databases. Often DBAs are faced with this scenario where TempDB fills up in the middle of the night, but no one knows what was running at that time. The History Browser in Diagnostic Manager allows us to go back and forensically view problems that happened in the past. So if you're trying to see what happened in TempDB, maybe last night, or yesterday, or last week, simply open History Browser, select the day that you'd like to go to, or view, select the time period you'd like to look at, and click on it. From there, you'll be able to see the exact time that the problem occurred, TempDB space used by file and the breakdown, how the space is being used by type of object, whether it's a user object, internal objects, mixed extents, and you can also see TempDB contention as well as version store cleanup rate versus version store generation rate. Because TempDB is a shared database for all applications and all users on a SQL Server, its performance is integral to the health of any SQL Server. Each time you start SQL Server, it recreates TempDB. Having a monitoring tool in place allows us to get the usage of TempDB even after a reboot, so we can compare and see problems that have occurred even in the past. Identifying the sessions that are affecting TempDB can be done at the bottom of the screen. Here you can see every session as it li is listed um, up and down that it's active in TempDB and you can see specifics around those sessions. How much CPU, physical I.O. and memory consumption each session is taking. The TempDB version store collects the data necessary to support row versioning. Each time a data value changes, a new version of the row is created and stored for as long as the oldest active transaction needs to access it. Once the row version is no longer needed, it is removed from TempDB by a cleanup job which runs once per minute. As a result, long-running transactions prevent cleanup of older entries into TempDB version store, causing growth which can affect performance and cause TempDB to run out of space. Using the version store cleanup rate chart, we can compare and contrast version store cleanup rate versus version store generation rate. And usually if the chart shows peaks and dips that are uh, mostly aligned, then you know everything's running fine. If version store cleanup rate is way lower than version store generation rate, then that signifies that we might have a problem in TempDB that might cause a space issue. TempDB contention is also an issue that can affect performance. TempDB resource contention, or weights, is usually the result of heavy use on too few TempDB files and occurs when the system attempts to allocate pages. You can see if there's a TempDB issue by dropping down this chart and selecting TempDB contention. The TempDB contention chart displays latch wait times in milliseconds for the allocation pages for TempDB. The three tracked allocation pages are page free space, global allocation map, and shared global allocation map. You can also remediate issues in TempDB directly from SQL Diagnostic Manager. To do that, first identify the session that you want to interact with using the area at the bottom of the screen. Then you can select that session, right click it, view its locks if you'd like, view session details, or you can trace it or kill the session directly from Diagnostic Manager. Knowing what's happening in your TempDB can greatly improve the performance of your SQL Server and monitoring it's a great first start.